Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights and you're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays and today we're going to go over how awesome the levels layer adjustment is. Now I did a video a couple weeks back about the curves layer adjustment and all of its awesomeness and a lot of you emailed me and asked me if I could do a similar tutorial about the levels adjustment layer. So I do want to do that here for you today and show you just how awesome it can be. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom of our layers panel to this little circle with the half circle, which is how we add a new layer adjustment to our photo. And we're going to go up and make sure that we select levels from the drop down list. Now we're going to pay close attention kind of to this box here, our property box for levels pops up and I'm going to just explain a little bit of it to you here. So at the top here, there's the presets. So if you ever, I never ever use these, but if you ever wanted to come in and, and just select one of these already uh, preset levels adjustments, you could always do that. So this is increased contrast one, two, and three. You could lighten your shadows. There's a bunch of already set presets in here that you could always use. I never use them. I always uh, adjust my levels adjustment myself. So before we start digging in too deep here, it's important to understand how this graph works. So the left hand side of the graph represents the shadows in the image, hence why our dropper here is black or really dark gray. Uh, the right hand side of the graph represents our highlights in our image. That's why the dropper or the little slider here is white. And the middle slider is of course the midtones or the gray ranges in our photo. So adjusting these sliders is going to do different things to our photo. So bringing the shadow slider into the middle is going to increase the shadows in our image and bringing the highlight slider or the white slider over here to the left is going to increase the highlights in our image. And dragging our middle slider to the left is going to lighten our photo, dragging it to the right is gonna darken our photo. So this graph also is really important if you're doing any sort of contrasting. So making our blacks darker and making our whites whiter is of course going to increase the contrast in our image. Now you can also decrease the contrast in your image by using this bar at the bottom, which is the output levels bar. So dragging the black slider here into the middle is going to raise our shadows and dragging the white or right slider here into the left is going to decrease our highlights. So essentially this is decreasing our contrast or adding a kind of matte effect or you could increase contrast using the top sliders here. Now levels is really great to lighten a photo or darken a photo or add contrast or take contrast away, but you can also play with color and with tone in uh, levels as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here too. So you'll notice here that we are on the RGB dropdown. So this represents the red, green, and blue channels. We're working on all of them here when we first start working with levels, but you can choose which channel by selecting the drop down here. So you can work on just the red channel, on just the green channel, and just the blue channel. And of course, these things will adjust these colors. So for instance, red, the opposite of red is cyan. Dragging the right side of our slider into the middle is gonna increase the reds in our photo. But dragging the left slider or the black slider into the middle is going to increase the cyan in our photo. And down here on our outputs level, we can do the same thing with our highlights and our shadows. So it's gonna do the opposite effect. So dragging our white slider is actually gonna increase our cyan, or dragging our left slider is gonna increase the reds in our photo. So you can do this for each of the channels. Of course, green and magenta are opposites, so we can add more magenta or we could add more green, and vice versa, we could add more green and add more magenta. And same with blue and yellow. This is adding more yellow. This is adding more blue and vice versa. This is adding more yellow. And this is adding more blue. So I'm gonna show you a quick edit with just the levels adjustment layer here. And we're gonna start from scratch. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I would edit this photo just using the levels layer adjustment. So I'm gonna come back down here to the bottom of my layers panel. I'm gonna select levels from the drop down list. And the first thing I want to do is just increase the exposure a little bit. So this is a little bit dark for me. I want to brighten it up. So I'm just gonna grab my mid-tone slider and I'm going to slide it to the left to increase my exposure. Um, I might actually increase uh, my highlights a little bit as well, but I don't want to flatten the whole thing. I wanna maintain a little bit of the contrast, so I am gonna darken 
or bring up my shadows a bit. So this did brighten my photo quite a bit and I'm okay with that right there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, change the tone or the color for my photo. So I'm going to come back up, select a new levels adjustment layer and this time I'm going to play around with the reds and see what I can get going on here. So I'm going to drag my right hand side which is my whites. I'm going to drag my slider in and see if I can bring out some reds and some of the pinks in the photo. And I like that. I might do this too and just see if I can get some of these shadows down here at the bottom a little bit redder. Now I like this but I don't like the effect it's making on the entire photo so I do actually just want to brush it on to the parts that I'm um, liking this effect on and to do that I need to use my layer mask. So right now my layer mask is set to white which is showing all of the layer. I actually want to invert that layer mask so making sure my layer mask is selected I'm going to hit command I or control I on a PC and now I can use a white brush so I'm going to come over to my toolbar select the brush from the drop down menu make sure my foreground color is set to white you can toggle back and forth between black and white by hitting X on your keyboard and uh, the opacity of my brush I'm going to bring that down a little bit so maybe I'll bring this down to about 40 percent and I just want to brush that color just into the parts of the photo that I want the effect on. So I don't want to make the whole photo that red tone. I just want to paint it on a few sections. I really liked it down here in the corner. And kind of up in these lighter spots up here. So already we've done quite a drastic change and that's just with two little adjustments from the levels adjustment layer. We're going to add one more. I might do this a couple times and pick a couple different colors. I'm going to play around with the green channel now and see what I can do here. So I actually like that and again I'm going to invert my layer mask by hitting command I and using my white brush I'm just going to paint this on to the parts of the photo that I would like the effect on. So I like that a lot. I'm going to do it one more time and play around with the blue channel or blue and yellow and see what I can do here as well. So this time I might play more with the shadows. I'm going to do two actually. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to invert. I'm going to brush that kind of bluish purple onto a couple spots here. And now I'm going to start another levels adjustment. I'm going to go back down to the blue and I'm going to add a bunch of yellow because I really want to bring out the green in the leaves um, and part of uh, the book over here. So again, invert my layer mask. And I'm just going to paint some of this deep green onto the parts of the photo that I want it to be applied to. Now I'm pretty happy with the tones so I do want to do a couple other things. I'm going to come down, add another levels adjustment and I'm just going to really boost the contrast. So I'm going to bring my shadows in and I'm going to bring my highlights in as well. And I like the effect that this is making on the outside edges here. It's it's blowing out my uh, my flower highlights a little bit. So I might just leave it as is and just brush off. So this time because I'm going to leave my layer mask as white, I'm going to select a black brush by hitting X on my keyboard or you can toggle back and forth by hitting this little arrow. Um, and I'm just going to brush off the contrast just on this flower here because I don't want it to blow out the highlights. But I do like the contrast and I might just bump the opacity of that entire layer down just a little bit, maybe about 75%. And I like that a lot. 
Now if I wanted to do any more tweaking with the lightening and darkening of the photo, I would do that now as well. So if I wanted to just increase my exposure a little bit, I could do that. I'm going to invert my layer mask and just brush this on with a white brush, just kind of around the inside here. And I could always decrease my exposure by bringing down my slider. And this time I might paint it on just part of the photo there. Now if I wanted to add a matte effect, this is when I would do that. So I'd add a new levels adjustment. And again, adding a matte effect is flattening your shadows and flattening your white. So to do that, you're going to select the output level slider. You're going to drag your uh, shadows into the middle a little bit and your whites into the middle a bit. And that's going to make this kind of matte effect. I do like that. I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit and I'm also going to use a black brush because my layer mask is white. And I'm just going to brush it off the middle of my photo here. So I don't want it to be on the most focused part of my image. And if this was an image of people, the same, the same rule would kind of be in effect. I always brush my matte effects off my people or my subjects. So we've gone from this to this, and I'm quite happy with that. Um, the one final thing I might do is just warm the image up a bit, and you can do that using the levels adjustment. Uh, I would just come in and change the RGB down to blue and then I would just warm this a bit. So I'm adding a little bit more yellow into the photo and that's just warming it up a little bit. It might be a bit too much so I'm just going to adjust my opacity a little bit. And that's how awesome the levels adjustment layer is. So it's very similar to curves. I use curves a whole lot more often just because that's what I'm more comfortable with. But levels does a lot of the same thing. So if you're using Photoshop elements and you don't have the curves adjustment layer, um, levels will work for you as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can come on over to Facebook and find me there at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. And if you have an idea for a Photoshop tutorial, make sure you send it over to hello at floatinglightsphoto.com and uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day.